Hi, it's Anne from the Useless Crafter, and today I want to go over the different Glowforge machines. So before we get started, though, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. I totally appreciate all the support that I can get. All right, so let's talk about the different machines. The one that I have is the Glowforge Aura, and the reason why I bring it up on the Michaels um, website here is this is uh, it's midnight um east coast time so it's available on their website um for the next two weeks it's available at michael's or joann's and then afterwards it will be available on glowforge so that's why you see kind of like the split screen so here prior to this launch the glowforge machines that were available to us uh it were the pro and um the plus the difference between the two so um, is that one has the pass through right here. So you can see that pass through. That means you can cut longer materials. It would go through the pass through slots out the other side, out the back. So that's the pro and it is at $7,000 and then you have the plus, which is 5,000. So these are both, um, they're big machines. My husband actually has the plus and it's huge. It's, you know, the, you need the filter out, you know, to go out. Um, and then now you have the Glowforge Aura. So the Glowforge Aura is more of a personal cutter. Um, th these are just my words though. Since I've had it, it's super light. Um, it's, I, I read that it's 19 pounds. I, I don't know when I pick it up, it's super light. <laughs> that's how, that's, that's how I measure weight. Can I pick it up without, you know, with ease and I can. So this is the Glowforge Aura. It also has the pass through slots. So let me see if I can get a picture that has it right there. You can see the paper coming out or that's actually probably, um, plywood coming out on the side right here. Um, so you can, you're limited to the 12 by 12 inch um, material that you can open up the lid and place inside. It is a different laser, it's a diode laser. So that's gonna give you um, some things that you can't cut on the Glowforge or that you can cut on the other Glowforge machines. Uh, for instance, for acrylic, that was one of the main things that I was looking at. You can't cut clear or translucent. So everything has to be, um, has to be laser safe, obviously, um, but it needs to be opaque so you can't see through the acrylic. Um, it, you can buy a filter specifically for the Aura. This is what I love. So I feel like you've got um, you've got these, which are you know, it's a different laser. It cuts faster. It's more industrial feeling, and this is more for. We're, um, we're starting out, it's for the crafter that wants to create cool projects in all the different materials, wood, acrylic, you can even do uh, paper, um, vinyl, it just has to be laser safe, but all those materials and you know many more that are available that you can cut on there. So for me, the Glowforge Aura is perfect for me. I wanna, make, I wanna experiment with these materials, I wanna make cool things, um, but I'm not necessarily selling them. I'm making them for families, for, um, for my family, for my friends, for gifts, but I'm not mass producing. The cut area is smaller. Um, it's a different laser, so it's gonna be a little bit slower than the other machines, um, but it's at a price point that works, you know, that, that works for me to be able to dive into these types of materials. The filter is great also because it doesn't require me to make any adjustments in my house. So the filter connects with the hose. It connects from the machine to the filter and you don't need a window. You don't need any tools. You literally slide it on. It's got like a really good suction to it. You know it's on there. And then it automatically, once you power it up, it automatically can talks to each other so that when I'm ready to cut something, I run it on my app 
um, you know, the materials in there, the proof grade materials in there, it scans, it knows exactly how to cut it. And once it figures out how much time it is and it's ready, my machines will blink. The, mach the Glowforge Aura will blink, letting me know that I can go and tap on the button to start it. As soon as I do, the filter also has a blinking light on there. As soon as I hit the go button on the Glowforge Aura, my filter starts and both machines are working in tandem so that I it, it cuts out 99.9% .9 of the articles, particles, not articles, excuse me. Um, so it is safe to put in your craft room uh, without any without any windows, without it, the vents going outside to the outside of the house. So that I want you to look at and factor in which one um, is best for you. Um, all of them are easy to set up. It's the same setup. You, it literally walks you through. I was shocked at how easy it was. Um, a lot of times you, you'll read it and it says, you know, cut your first project in 30 minutes. It is very much true. You can plop in there a project and you can cut and engrave on your, you know, within the first First, first hour, if you want to call it that, um, you know, if you want to double check things or whatever, but you could technically get started within like 30 minutes. I set up the whole machine all by myself. <laughs> and if you followed me for other, for other machines and projects, I am not the best when it comes to setting things up. I, you know, I can set up most things but I usually can't finish it, whatever, you know, or I need more muscle strength or some sort of problem solving. But the Glowforge Aura and the filter, I did it all by myself. In fact, I did it without even the instructions because I forgot that um, they were sent to me. <laughs> so I was, you know, I was able to get early access to the Glowforge Aura. So things weren't available online per se. <clears throat> And I had forgotten in all the emails that I've received, I forgot that there were instructions in there. <clears throat> so I had set it up pretty much. Everything was very intuitive, super easy. And even the app, I was like, oh, you just start clicking through things and it is very easy. And I made my first project, which I also have a YouTube tutorial for both the application on how to do it, uh, you know, on your computer and then also how to assemble it. It was that easy. I made, I don't know, eight, 10 keychains. I don't even remember. I've made many, many more projects, which I will be detailing uh, in all my YouTube tutorials. I absolutely love it. My personal opinion is that um, I have been waiting for something like this. I've wanted to try a laser cutter. This is so easy to use. It's right up my alley. I've made a ton of projects and I absolutely love it. If I were selling, like if I had an Etsy shop and I plan on selling these, um, all my projects and mass producing, I would probably skip over the Aura and go to either, um, you know, one of these two that are within my budget, the Pro or the, um, the Plus. And the reason is it's a different type of laser and it cuts faster. So if I were to do this, if, if I knew I was going to, you know, if I wanted an Etsy shop, that's what I would do for my um, personal projects and presents and things like that. I love this aura. I love the fact that I was able to set it up, cut it all like within 30 minutes, an hour, whatever. I love that the filter is connected and I don't have to set anything up. I can have this in an apartment. I can have this in my craft room, close the door, whatever it is. I can do it all. Um, it, it, it's just a very versatile, great product for your crafting needs. Um, so that is like the main sticking point for me is um, what it can cut. So the the two things that I really wanted to do um, with a laser machine is I love the clear acrylic. There's just, I, I'd seen so many things pop up in my stories and in my feed and uh, you know, the Glowforge um, creators that I follow. And so I, you know, the, I, I love my clear acrylic. I do those big wedding signs. I just feel like there's things that I wanna make with it. So 
Um, the clear and the translucent acrylic are the two sticking points for me and the time that it takes to cut. So if I want any of those three, you cannot, and there are probably other things too, but those are the, the focus for me, the, the focus points, the things that I really wanted to do. Um, or well, the two, the two materials. And then the third one is when I look at the time it takes to cut. So I'm totally okay with personal projects and with gifts and things like that. I, I am good with this price point and I'm good with the cutting time. If I were to mass produce, I'd want something faster. I would go with the pro or the plus. Um, if budget, you know, if I didn't have constraints and I was thinking big, big projects and stuff, I would just go with the pro because you have the pass through you can cut more on here if you're not thinking about big projects like that then to me the plus is good so that is my high level overview I am in love with my aura though I have pretty much since uh, receiving it I've been cutting a project every day working on something cool I really um, I've done the keychains I've done lots of earring holders I'm just testing things out and testing how to assemble projects together and so I'm just excited for all the projects to come and how can I make it big and amazing and I don't know like just like I do with my paper projects and my sublimation and all of that I'm super excited to grow with my Glowforge Aura. So that's where I am. Hopefully that was helpful for you. Let me know if you have any comments or questions, but after today, we should be able to see more online and see what it's about. You can go on here on Michael's, on Joanne's, see the filter, what it can cut. You can go through on the Glowforge um, website and there's a section on here where you do a little questionnaire to see which, pro which product is best for you. Um, but I, um, I, I just can't believe how easy it is to use. So that's, you know, you can start making things right away. And so I just, I, I love it. So, all right, I will see you next time. Um, in a couple weeks, uh, there will be an affiliate code. If you haven't bought your Glowforge Aura, then you can come back here and click on that link if you want to purchase it. Um, I do get, um, uh, I get a little kickback from Glowforge uh, using my affiliate link. So I appreciate all the support that I can get. All right. See you guys later.